welcome back to the GSL Code S. We're here in our final game of this group. It's going to be TSL Killer up against TSL Bolt. Bolt. I don't know why I suddenly forgot. This happens sometimes, man. Life, you get, get a brain fart. Killer against Bolt. It should be a pretty epic match. We already saw Killer win game number one uh, against Bolt. Pretty badly, actually. Yeah, he crushed him, man. He absolutely, positively crushed him. He completely him. manhandled Bolt, actually, in that mm -hmm. game. So, looks like we're going to get right into this. Only one TSL player will move on. I really hope it's Killer. I really want, I really want to see a Protoss win today. I would love to have Killer go on to that round of 16, Tasteless. Could happen here. Both the players joking with each other in the game. No matter what, they're both going to be in Code S. Yep. Only Teja has that question about him. I think he'll get through anyways. If Teja I, I think we'll see worry. Teja uh, back. I think he made that one mistake. He shot his command center. I think from there he's like, well, this is just going to be an awful day. This is going to be the day that haunts my dreams for the rest yeah. of my pro gaming career. Both players now wishing each other good luck. And with that, the ref has started the countdown. Soon the game will be loaded. Two TSL players, only one will move on. Holt, formerly known as Optimus Prime, one of the highest ranked players in the tournament, or Killer, the last Protoss standing. Who's it going to be? We're going to find out soon. I'm Tasteless. Me is Artosis. We're the Casting Archon. And this is the GSL Code S. Map is Antigua Shipyard. This is where Nesty parks his yacht that he got from all that money. Over here in the upper right, we have. Pirates. Pirates. And there he is now, the legend himself. Moving to the other side of the map, in the bottom left. The last Protoss here in the GSL Code S. Can he win it for all of us Protoss players around the world? We'll see soon. His ideas. GSL Killer. You know, right now, one third at least of the population of StarCraft II players is rooting for Killer. I think everybody is. I think so too. I don't care if you're a Terran that only likes Terran versus Terran, you're probably rooting for him. Note, once again, uh, Killer scouting very early. I think he's very concerned that there's a possibility Pult will do some kind of rush. We're some actually going to see a Killer go for a Nexus first, Tasteless. Ooh, this strategy is pretty ballsy. It certainly is. <laughs> now he's going to scout in here and see a gas for Pult. His Nexus has started back at home. And it's going to be very interesting to see what build that Killer falls up with and how much scouting information you can actually get to try to stop whatever Pult's going to throw at him. Yeah. You know, an early uh, rush against this build of Killers. I don't know if that'll work here. Does it, and can I don't you do a 1-1-1 one, one, one against this build? I haven't done Nexus First in a while, actually. I have up not Robo run early. into 1-1-1 one, one, one with my Nexus First builds. Normally, if they rush you, it's going to be a uh, Marine SCV. There's yeah, a Marine SCV rush if they scout you quick enough. Holt though has not scouted at all, which tells me that it's very likely that he's going to do something uh, like that, like a one one one. But um, this is one of these builds where Terran has to catch up right away. You cannot uh, play standard if they go Nexus first. Well, it looks like it's actually just going to be reactor and huh. And I don't think I've run into this build either with the. Uh, Nexus first. I guess he's basically saying to himself, well, he's probably going to have less stalkers. Well, he actually hasn't scouted yet. He actually oh my has God, no actually, idea. Excuse me, you're right. He doesn't he even know. at all. He's actually doing a very mineral heavy build. He's going to probably expand and go reactored hellions. So uh, as long as Killer can actually stop reactored hellions with a few stalkers, which I don't think he's going to have that big of an issue with. He's getting two gateways and the Cybernex core, so he's going to be able to get a couple stalkers out quickly if that's what he chooses oh. to do. He almost thought about going up into the base, but he saw the SCV would be there to block it. So got some good information. Saw two Marines in a bunker building, so that tells him it's tech, most likely. I um, I really don't like when people do these kind of builds where Which they're not ones? scouting. 
Yeah, I don't like. I, I, I see people do it. I'm like, well, I don't. There's a few I, I can get behind. Like, uh, for instance, some people instead of scouting with uh, with fast span builds uh, against Zerg with Protoss, you can actually, if you don't scout, you can afford getting Nexus first and stopping a Zergling rush. That's interesting. Yeah. So. For me, I just feel like I have to see. Yeah, no, I agree. You know what I mean? Like, I might see something and be and like, well, you at home. Good strategy. All you at home, make sure that you, uh... And look at this, he's actually only showing one Hellion Tasteless. While making more Hellions oh, at home. Oh, that's smart, actually. Yeah, and he is getting a starport as well. Well, there will be this small uh, window of surprise, um, where basically he can go down there with all these Hellions and catch Killer off guard and possibly melt uh, all of those workers. Yeah. Killer is getting a robotics facility. If he gets, I'm sure he'll get an Observer first, but if he gets an Immortal Chrono Boost out very quickly thereafter, that could be extremely helpful. Immortals are actually pretty good against Hellions, even though they don't get the damage bonus. Uh, they just, they have a lot of hit points and a lot of damage, so. Two more gateways now on the way. Did he? Okay, for a split second I thought he wasn't getting Warp Gate. I was like, what is going on? Um, now he's actually chrono boosting that out. This is, uh, okay, well, now the four Hellions have been spotted. Pretty confident move here from mm. Killer to move out. A Viking on the way for, uh, mm. for Polt. And Polt actually still has no idea what's going on. He has not seen any. See, this is my problem with builds like this, is that if he had known, for instance, that the Nexus was made first, he could have just said, oh, I'm going to land my command center on the low ground. You know, quicker. Um, you know, or I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna skip this, these units, because he can't attack me right now. But I don't know. We'll see what he does from here. Well, we have Killer popping out multiple observers and getting a blink. A couple bunkers are going up for pole. He actually is in a lot of trouble, man. He's actually playing like this defensive style right now against a killer who's already got a nexus up. It's 42 probes to 31 SCVs. That's a pretty gigantic lead. Uh, I like, ooh, actually, Killer, with his quick blink and his observers, I think he's going to start harassing Oh, the yeah, you're Some actually correct, yeah. Looks like it. He's got to be careful, though, because with Hellions out, if you don't have enough units at home, they can come in and ravage your probe line very quickly. Well, it's really dangerous if you are playing and you get stuck in this position, because once the Stalkers have a map position on you, you can just blink in and out, in and out, in and out, and um, there's just not a lot that you could do, yeah. you know? Other than trying to maybe do a drop into the Protoss's main, but there's well, much harder things in the world to stop than that. A lot of Blink Stalkers on their way. There is a uh, medevac out that could be used for dropping Hellions against a killer that has overextended with the Stalkers. Scan there, Let's kills off one of the Observers. Oh, I like this. Killer is proxying a pile on a warp in once he gets in the main base. He might actually just go for uh, a possible kill move here. All right, here we go. Going for the tech lab right away. He says, no Marauders for you, sir. No upgrades either. Take no stim. stim. No stim. Huge move by Killer, and he can actually blink out if he wants. Look at this. Killing add-ons left and right. And that's how you want to do it. Add-ons die very quickly. Oh, and he's going to try to target down the Sea Chicken. Now he's probably just going to get out of here I think for he's now. just going to win now, yeah. Or he's no, just going to... Oh watch how God. he blinks perfectly Handsome here. play. Killer killing Bolt right now. Showing us some awesome builds, some awesome strategies, killing even more add-ons. It's an add-on genocide at this point. And the SCVs have to come out. This is it, man. Bolt is so dead, and we're going to have a Protoss. No one we expected this in the round of 16. Pro Killer has done what no Protoss in the world could do. He managed to go up to the round of 16 in this code S. Then, yeah, there's really no way. With Stalker Blink Micro, there's really no way that he can recover. We have Hellions being dropped over here. But the question is, can these Hellions actually make up for the tremendous amount of damage the killer is uh, inflicting on him? In fact, there's no way that he can recover. No. no. The answer is no. going to pop out and die. The, uh, the Stalkers will end up just winning this game, no matter what. Yeah, yeah. GG. Wow. Well-deserved win. You know what? He did. He absolutely deserved that win. And killer. Protoss hero. The Protoss hero right now. He's going to move on to the round of 16. Paul, very disappointing game from him. Uh, that is that um, is indeed true. But, you know, Killer played actually greatly, so I'm not even going to...
I'm not gonna hate on Paul too much because Killer showed that he's so good. Yeah, he's a, he's really talented. Those builds were great. He definitely had Pulse numbers, that's for sure. Sometimes you see two teammates play against each other and there's just not a lot the other guy can do. He's inside of his brain. Inside of his brain, touching all his brainy bits. I know, he's like, ah, Giving now Pult he's a little making him remember those piano lessons. Yeah. Dude, uh, Killer way, way outplayed him. I love that ending there. Look, here's one of the problems. He never identified that the Protoss with Nexus first. There's so many things you can do. He never scouted. He never to did either be aggressive early or uh, take more uh, economic risks early. Yeah. He was like building bunkers and stuff. He actually never he, had anything that happened. Bunkers against you know, a guy. Who went what's going to happen is on the ride home, Killer's going to be like, "I went Nexus first. Yeah, and he's and gonna Bolt's going to be like, "Oh, oh I'm going to scout from now on." I really don't like builds you could scout. I don't feel like Starkout Two has figured out enough to where you can't. You, or you can discard scouting early. You can't discount, discard it. And people do it, and sometimes it does work. But as a general rule, for those of you that we're all trying to learn StarCraft 2 and improve, always scout. You might find one bit of information or a, a plethora of information that can you can utilize to get a win. And that's what Pult did not do in this case. It's true. I, I loved <clears throat> Killer's play, though. I really Yeah, it was really it. nice. Played so well. It was beautiful. Got into the main. I also love how he took out those add-ons, too. He didn't just attack, like, oh, I'm going to get a depot. I'm going to do this. No, he went, he got the add-ons. Well, he doesn't want Marauders popping out. Marauders exactly, because Marauders good, will man. kill him. And there he goes by. Killer, the Protoss hope, Protoss hero. Ooh, he's so, for the sake of review, we have Killer. And um, let's two. It'll be two wins and one loss here for Killer. It says 1-1 one, one right now. Uh, Killer and Don Grey grew advancing. We do have a Protoss moving through. Pult will stay in Code S, and Slayer's Teja is going to have to fall down to the up and down matches. Yep, 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 yep. That's all there is to it, Artosis. Yep, 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 yep. <laughs> we are going to go uh, on to the second half of today's games after a short little break. Um, so happy to see a Protoss move on. I don't know how far Killer's going to get. I don't see him getting into the finals, but it will be exciting yeah. to see him. It's the last hope for Protoss moving on. And by the way, good for him, because this was a very tough group. I did not yeah. foresee him no, getting out. No, I was no, hoping no. he was going to get out, but I did not foresee it. I, I knew any two could, but I actually thought the killer might have been the weakest link and gone down the up and down. It but certainly was a possibility, but he had some he sick builds wrong. prepared, and he knew his new teammate pretty well. He did. All right, guys, well, thank you so much for joining us. We're going to close out with a little five-minute break. We'll be back soon here at the GSL Codex.